You've actually, um, I've seen your checklist for something and I think for people who are, you know, time poor and, um, you know, working mums and whatever, the last on the list, what are the essential things if they've really sort of got to be mindful of their health and the most important things and that they're still here celebrating their kid's 60th birthday, what are the things that they really should be at least, like at least you've got to do this, that and the other? Well, I think it's very important, first of all, to have a good GP. And your GP will be able to, at particular stages and ages, talk to you about the types of health checks that you need to have. We have reminder systems on our computers, and so we can, you know, get a pop-up when you need to have, you know, a breast examination or a pap smear or a blood test done or uh, some other type of test like an eye test or whatever. And so I think that the, fir the first thing you can do is to have an annual checkup. Yeah. And then at particular stages, your GP will be able to talk to you about what's appropriate for you at that particular stage. Uh, beyond that, I think there are a lot of these things that people can do for themselves. And, uh, and, and things like finding a type of exercise that you like doing. If you don't like doing it on your own, then, you know... Join a group. Join a group, put some earphones on and get a radio, listen to some music while you're walking or exercising, uh, you know, join a class of some sort. There will be a type of exercise you like. That's one thing when you say you get to a brick wall and people say, there's no form of exercise I like, ever, ever will, never will. There's always a form of activity that people will come yeah. to enjoy yeah. if they just try out a few different things. I had one fellow who was in his 80s who was having problems with his knees, and I got him to go to yoga classes. And wow, good on you! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, and you know, talking about brick walls. Wow. But but he actually came back to me a couple of months later, and he said, "I can't believe how much better I'm walking, yeah. how much stronger I feel, how much better I feel, and how much he was enjoying." Because he was prepared to have a go. Because yeah. he he wasn't feeling like he was as healthy as he could be. And yeah. we tried a whole lot of different types of other things. And, uh, and it wasn't working for him. So the brick walls are the things that people themselves come up against. Yeah. You know, it's my job to provide the ladder for them to get over the brick mm -hmm. wall. Mm -hmm.